Welcome to Mathematics class with Flash Isaac. Today, I'll be teaching you percentage error. Now, in mathematics, error is the difference between the actual value and the measured value. The difference between the guessed value and the real value. For example, if I look at a class, a building, this is a roof, class with chairs, with chairs, and I ask you, Ruth, or Joy, or Lawrence, how many students are in this class? And you say, Oh, this class, mm, let's say eight students. Eight students. Then later, we go inside the class to check, to inspect, and we discover that the number of students in the class is actually six students. In this case, you've made an error. There is an error. It's not correct. Because the error is the 8, your guess, minus 6, the actual value. This is equals 2. So that is your error. You added, you remo added 2, which is not supposed to be there. Now, is this different from percentage error? Slightly. Percentage error is simply your the error error over actual number or actual value times hundred. So this is your percent error or percentage error. So the error you made over the actual number times 100. Percentage error is error over actual number or value times 100 times 100. Where error is equals wrong value minus right value over Write value times 100. Better as the percentage error is equals measured value minus actual value over actual value times 100 or better see you like this percentage error is equals what you got what you got or what you get minus what you were supposed to get what you were supposed to get over what you were supposed times 100. Now, in all these formulas, we are trying to let you know that Percentage error is actually your error over the actual value or the real value times 100. Now, if you look at these formulas, they are actually the same. We are trying to use them to explain to you to make this definition sink in. So that you don't just see this calculation as mass or abstract, but you try to experience it or feel it in real life. So if you have two values, 
you guess the wrong value and you now check the right value. Your error in percentage or in percent is simply the wrong value you get or you got minus the right value, which is the value you're supposed to get, over the right value times 100. Percentage error is the measured value, what you measured, what you got over the actual value you're supposed to get over the actual value times 100. It is what you got minus what you are supposed to get over what you are supposed to get times 100. So for you to make an error or for me to say you are wrong, it means there is something right. If I said we have 10 cups of rice at home and you say it's wrong, it means there is a correct answer. It means that it is more or is less. So for there to be error, there must be right, there must be correct answer, there must be re. Okay, look at the example I gave earlier. You observe a class and you say, in this class, there are eight students. We go into the class and discover that it's actually six, six students. So there are six students in the class and you guessed it. Ah, I already solved and we said that your error is what? Two, which is wrong minus right is error. Measured value minus actual value is error. What you got minus what you're supposed to get is error. So therefore, percentage error in that case is percentage error is what you, have, what you got or measured value or wrong value which is 8 minus what you were supposed to get or the right value or the actual value which is 6 6 over what you were supposed to get or the actual value or the right value which is what? 6 times 100 so this will give you 8 minus 6 that was 2 over 6 times 100. This is 1 over 3 times 100, which is the same thing as 100 over 3. This will give you 30. 100 over 33.333 and so on. So with this, I'm sure you know what percentage error is, which is simply the error in percentage. So this is how you represent percentage error. Okay, let me solve two or more questions for you to get it. But irrespective of the question, irrespective of the grammar, it's still the same. I think I will preserve this formula and put down the question there so that you see how we compare the questions to the formula. Okay, look at this question. In a physics practical, Luke recorded a reading as 1.21 cm instead of 1.12 cm. Calculate his percentage error. When you see questions on percentage error, the first thing you check is what is the actual value and what is the recorded value. Now it said he recorded a reading as 1.21 cm. So his reading or which is the wrong value or the measured value or what what you got which is what he got is 1.21 cm so percentage error equals 1.21 what he got 1.21 minus instead of 1.12 cm that means he was supposed to get 1.12 cm not 1.21 so meaning 1.12 is the actual value. That's what we expected, what he's supposed to get, what he was aiming at. So 1.12 over the right value or the actual value, which is 1.12. 1.12 times 100. So this should give you a sales boy gave a change of 75 Naira to a buyer instead of 18 error. Calculate his percentage error. Now, when I was, when I saw this question, something came to my mind. And you must be thinking about that too. Remember, 
we said that percentage error is wrong minus right value over right value or what you got minus what we are supposed to get over what you were supposed to get and from the questions we've solved so far what you got or the measured value or the wrong value has been greater than the right value or the actual value meaning our answers have been what positive the error has been positive but in that case what you got is less than what you were supposed to get or the wrong is less than the right look at it the boy gave a change of 75 naira instead of 80 naira that means the wrong equals 75 naira that means the wrong or what he got is equal the measured value is 75 naira then the right value or what he was supposed to get is equals 80 naira so you'll not be wondering if we say okay wrong minus right will it not give us a negative value no while solving percentage error this is what you do some are constant look at it percentage error is equals over actual times 100 so these ones are constant the, you divide by actual value you multiply by 100 this is percentage error now for the error whether wrong is greater than right or right is greater than wrong anyone that comes first subtract the bigger one minus the negative uh, the small one that is the error because in this case the error is five because that is the difference between what you got and what you're supposed to get so whether this is bigger or this is bigger or this is smaller or this is bigger subtract remove the small one from the bigger one so in this case come and say 80 minus 75 so you should not get value in your error I hope you understand that good so this gives you 5 over actual value which is 80 times what 100 so that is it and also to get 6.25 percent which is the same thing as 50 over 8 which is the same thing as 25 over 4 so that is it on that percentage error so let's solve the next let's move to the next topic which is significant figures thank you for watching and subscribe to always get my videos thanks for watching subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this